What's up you guys? We are back. I'm playing with a brand new toy. Check this out. I'm going down the stairs. Look how smooth this is. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Anyways, today we are jumping back on the 636 build as you can probably tell from the title, but first we gotta go get some supplies to make that happen, so let's go. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this red light. Shoop. <laughs> so first things first, I gotta pick up some flapper wheels and grinding discs and bolts and some other shit like that because I burnt through my whole supply when I made those uh, tire spikes that won't see the light of day until next year, so that was worth it. And then we'll get back to finishing the old crash cage. I actually didn't finish it when I started building it last year. I got like 80% of the way there and I actually ran an argon and I never finished welding it. There's one side of it that's totally not even close to finished yet. So I gotta do that. Um, still gotta like miter off the edges of the tubes and stuff and make everything nice and smooth so there's nothing sharp sticking out to stab at you and poke through your feet or your legs or something like that. And then uh, we gotta machine out some sliders for the ends of it. I'm gonna make those out of Delrin on the lays, so that'll be fun. And uh, figure out mounting up the under fairing on there too, because I kind of think I want to run that. I, I want to clean up that whole underside of the bike. Look, I hate when they're just wide open underneath there. It kind of looks stupid. So uh, I'm gonna get that done and uh, maybe something else. I don't know. Am I gonna bring this big Spielberg rig in there with me? Yeah, fuck it. Let's bring it. Fresh subscribers here in Princess Auto. <laughs> you never know you're gonna meet, eh? Yeah, exactly. I have the worst habit with this place. I can never remember what I want when I get here because there's so many shiny, cool things. I just get distracted and I want everything. Damn it. I want this. I ain't happening because I can't afford that. What's happening, ugly? Shh, it's okay, you won't be ugly for long. One day you'll be a nice, beautiful swan that I beat the shit out of. All right, so let's start with the cage. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark out where the holes need to go for the sliders so I can drill those later on. And we'll pull it off, finish welding the thing up, probably add some gussets in there to make it a little stronger and probably make it look a little cooler and then start trimming everything up and then move on to the sliders. All right, so that wraps up the metal portion of the crash cage. So now let's cut this stock of Delrin into a couple sliders. Now let's hope I don't dick this up because I don't have much of this stuff and I can't make a straight cut with one of these to save my life. So here we go. Nope, fuck that. A little melty, but that was much easier. Well, they're not great, but they ain't bad either. So let's go throw these on the lathe and uh, Cut them out. Also, shout out to whoever got me these new cutting tools off my Amazon wish list. Thank you, whoever you are, anonymous person. You're awesome.
Boom. Well, that looks pretty damn profesh if I say so myself. Let's uh, get that underfairing on and wrap this up. You know, I'm gonna have to eat my words from earlier, I think. Upon further inspection, I think this bike looks a lot better without that underfairing. Yeah, fuck it, it's coming off. Better. So that wraps up the crash cage. Let's check this baby out. Actually, hold on a second. There, I finally got one of those. Well, first I kind of intended on doing this off camera, but the fact that this thing was sitting for a year unfinished was driving me batshit crazy. So I figured, you know what? Let's just get it done and put it in the series. But I'm pretty pumped on how this thing turned out. I mean, it looks pretty beefy. It's, uh, it definitely doesn't look like any of the crash cages you go and buy, so that's cool. And uh, I don't know, it looks like it's gonna be able to take a shit kicking, so we'll see, I guess. Well, fuck this, it's like four in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> So that's the end of this one. That's three videos in a week for me. That's pretty damn good. Hopefully I can keep this up, but uh, make sure you guys click the links down in the description box. If you want to support the build, pick up shirt, whatever, check out my other social media. And as always, we'll see you again in the next one.